Welcome back to Politics and Thrones on the Seven Kingdoms News Network. I'm your host, Felice of House Leon, and with us today is Michael Harriet, professor of Iron Throneology at Westrow State University, to talk about the upcoming Iron Throne primaries and general election. First, do you think that it's possible that Cersei Lannister will be unseated? Well, like Donald Trump, Cersei's Make the Seven Kingdoms Great Again slogan resonates heavily with her base, which is mostly the white working class people of King's Landing. She promotes racism by referring to the Dothraki as rapists. Dothraki heathens who will burn your villages to the ground, rape and enslave your women. She calls for a travel ban against the unsullied. An army of savages to our shores, mindless unsullied soldiers who will destroy your castles and your holdfasts. Racism alone should disqualify her, but her base loves her. Okay, so do you think that Jon Snow is the front runner? You know Jon Snow, he's basically like Beto O'Rourke. Everyone likes him, but no one really knows what he stands for. Plus, he breaks his word all the time. He pledged himself to celibacy when he joined the Night's Watch, and the next thing you know, he's smashing waddling cakes in the snow. Is this your king of the north? He's also sleeping with his auntie, which voters might think is kind of nasty. Speaking of his aunt, what chance does Daenerys Targaryen have for the nomination? Well, she's a white woman, so she has a great chance. She's the living embodiment of white privilege because she was given dragons at birth. She assimilates cultures, too. She calls herself the Khaleesi of the Dothraki because she was married to Khal Drago for like three days before he died and went on to become Aquaman. She swears she's a breaker of chains, but travels with her black servant and a whole army of no testicle having black men because she kind of has a white savior complex. Daenerys, she's Elizabeth Warren. What do you think is the reason behind her strong support? Dragons. Just the dragons alone? Hey, are you gonna vote against someone who can send a fire lizard to burn down your mama house? Good point. The Stark family as a whole has a high favorability rating. All of the Starks are basically all of the black candidates. Bran could be a contender, but he's kind of corny. He's basically Cory Booker. Also, there's this theory out there that Bran is the Night King. And if you ask Republicans, Cory Booker becoming president would definitely be the end of the world. It might also explain why he loves playing in the snow so much. Then we have Sansa, who's always being undermined by white men who want power. First Joffrey, then Ramsay Bolton, and I think Lord Baelish has some nefarious plans. She's essentially Stacey Abrams. Now Arya, she's young. She plays the sorority of the many-faced god, which means she's literally an AKA. Kind of reminds you of Kamala Harris, doesn't it? Except, unlike Kamala, Arya supports the death penalty for everyone. She also wants revenge on everyone who's done her family wrong. So she's kind of in favor of reparations too. How about Tyrion Lannister? Now, I like Lil T from the beginning. Even when I realized he wasn't kneeling for the anthem, and that's just how tall he is, I still liked him. Now, no one would doubt that Tyrion is smart and has good ideas, but the only people who trust him are weird white people like Lord Varys or beer-drinking bro types. Tyrion is basically Bernie Sanders. I drink and I know things. I see, but is there a third-party candidate who could make some oh, noise? definitely the Night King. He has all the support of the white supremacists who want to take over, and his followers are the real white people, you know, the ones who wear shorts and flip-flops in the snow. Because most of his campaign volunteers are dead, he has a huge organizing advantage, and he has a dragon too. When you put it like that, it seems like Cersei doesn't even stand a chance. Well, don't count her out yet. She has a very important attribute that really matters in these kinds of elections. And what is that? She's rich and she's white. <laughs> of course. Are, are we done? I got some lemon pepper raven wings waiting for me in the oven. Wet, all flats, flats fried, fried hard. hard. No problem. Thank you for joining us, Michael. Next up is weather, but I can already tell you, winter's coming. Good night. It's absurd, like I like. <laughs> it gets more absurd the further it goes in. How about Tyrion Lannister? Did I say, was that correct? Tyrion. I say Tyrion, I make it black. Tyrion, Tyrion, Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah. Tyrion. Tyrion.